Hey guys, so TMI tag or too much information tag, just so you guys get to know me and stuff. So I'll be reading off the questions for my blog, and this is the first blog post I'm ever doing. So first of all, it asks, "What are you wearing?" Right now, I am wearing my Hollister jean jacket and this floral crop top, and then as you can see, I have changed into sweatpants all right because i was not about to be wearing jeans and sitting here for like an hour and it asked number two says ever been in love and no i'm only 16 ever had a terrible breakup no i have not i haven't been in many relationships how tall are you hmm i really hate this question why is this question on here should i even answer this this is I hate this question. All right, since since probably I was born, this is like the worst question ever. Everyone always asks me this. <sighs> I really don't want to answer this. And this is a really touchy subject for me because of the fact that I've always been bullied for it. Everyone always asks me, "Oh, how tall are you? Are you like, a, are you like a classified midget or something?" And it really got to me. It, it got to the point so bad one time that I wouldn't leave my house like because I felt so self-conscious about it but as the older I got the more I was kind of just like really why am I letting this hold me back it's it's nothing it's something I can change it's something about me that I'm just gonna have to learn to love and accept and if people can't learn to love and accept it then what are you still doing in my life why are you talking to me right now like I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. Like, life is already hard enough without people bringing you down about stuff that you can't change about yourself. But, forgetting all that stuff, I am 4'11". How much do you weigh? Th these questions just don't get any better now, do they? they oh, I hate these questions so much because everyone always has something to say about something. About like, how much do you weigh? Like, always be like, oh, you're so skinny. Oh, oh my gosh, she's a little curvy. Oh my god, she's a little under overweight, overweight. No, shut up. Be quiet. Doesn't concern you. As long as everyone is healthy and fine, then what you weigh is your business and your doctors. As long as you're healthy. That's the key. That's the thing. But um, I weigh 95 pounds. You know what you're saying? That is, you're probably thinking, oh my god, she's anorexic. No, I am not. All right, that is the healthy weight for my height. All right, any tattoos? No, I wish. I want like so many tattoos. My parents hate tattoos so much. The day I get a tattoo will be the day that I will be shunned. <laughs> but I'm definitely getting one, I'm sure. Any piercings? No, I only have my first hole pierced, that's it. But I do want my belly button, belly button pierced. I want my cartilage pierced. I want like so many piercings. OTP, one true pairing. If you don't know what that means. It means like couple are like destined to be together. Um, ugh, so many, I'm like, so many beautiful couples. But I definitely, the one that comes to my mind right now is probably Zalfi, which is Zoella and Alfie. They are so adorable together. If you don't know who they are, I'll link them down below. You have to check them out. Favorite show, Rain. That show has me hooked. There's so many plot twists and like, you may think, oh, Rain, isn't that about history or something? No, it's not. Trust me, it is not. It's so good. If you haven't checked it out, you should definitely check it out. You'll be hooked on the first episode. Favorite bands. Stop right there. I will confess, I am a music junkie. I will be obsessed to a different band every other week. I'm obsessed with so many bands. I love so many bands. It is unbelievable. I sometimes I don't even think I'll have time to listen to all the music that I want to. I'll literally be in bed like, oh my goodness, I wish I had more time to listen to music. But my favorite bands from the top of my head that I'm obsessed with right now at this moment is the 1975 Young Blood Hawk or Hockey and the cinema, the Arctic Monkeys, One Direction, I know how mainstream of me. 
Um, Passion Pit, Phoenix, St. St. Lucia, Bastille, Foster the People, and The Neighborhood. That's a lot. Something you miss. I definitely miss being a kid. Like, I know you might be saying, like, what are you talking about? You are a kid. But I mean, like, being a kid to the fact where you don't know any better. Like, you can do what, not do whatever you want, but you're not worrying about anything. You're not worrying about tomorrow. You're not worrying about what's due tomorrow in class. You're not worrying about like, oh, I have this really big test coming up. I have to study. No, you're kind of just there and you're just laughing and you're just enjoying everything. And I mean, yeah, sure, I'm still probably doing that, but it's not the same as it used to be. <sighs> Times were so much simpler. You didn't think like one day, oh, one day I won't have these days. I might as well take advantage, full advantage of them. No, you, you let them slip by you. And that's really upsetting to me. I wish if I could go back, I probably would go back to those days. They were so simple and I miss them. My favorite song. I just said I'm a music junkie. and But at the moment, I've been listening nonstop to Danny Boy by the Young Blood, by Young Blood Hawk. How old are you? Six. Zodiac sign, I'm an Aquarius. Quality you look for in a partner. I'm single. I'm single. <laughs> Alright. Mm. Someone I can have fun with, honestly. Someone that's easygoing and chill that I can have like. Someone that I can have fun with in a day, but at nighttime, we can have like these deep intellectual combos. You get what I'm saying? Like someone. And has to have the same music taste as me, or at least similar. Music taste is a big thing. All right, favorite quote. My favorite quote is, do I love you because you're beautiful or are you beautiful because I love you? And that is by Richard Rogers and Oscar Hammerstein, Cinderella, from Cinderella. My favorite actor is, hands down, Dylan O'Brien, all the way. All the way up top. Yes, With, without a doubt in my mind. He's perfect. Favorite color? Mint green. Loud music or soft music? I'm a loud music type of person. I love to rock out. You should see the jam sessions I have in my room at night. It's pretty intense, pretty heated. I also love it when it. If you have a lot of stuff on your mind that day, like if you listen to loud music, it literally takes out everything from your mind. You can't think, you can't do anything. So for those three minutes, your mind is just blank and it's just music pounding into your head. I love that feeling. Where do I go to when I'm sad? I usually go to my mom. She's my everything. Without her, I don't know what I would do. She keeps me insane, sorry. How long does it take for you to shower? Take care equals long showers. So I try to prolong my not washing my hair as long as possible. Cause that takes I need to like set it and schedule when I'm gonna take a shower because it's a process. There's a process. There's a regimen. Um, but I'd say 15 minutes or so. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? For school, it usually takes me around 30 minutes just to do like my makeup and get, get dressed and all that stuff. I have mastered the art of doing your makeup in 10 to 15 minutes. Yes. Yes. It took a while too. Alright, next question is, ever been in a physical fight? No. Thank God. Turn on. Turn off. Rudeness. Don't. Don't. If you disrespect anyone that- If you disrespect your elders or if you disrespect a teacher, to me that's automatically no. No. I can't, I'm not dealing with that. It's, it's so awful. Like if you're rude to that type of person, who is to say you won't be rude to me or something? No. I'm not dealing with that. The reason I joined YouTube. And I don't know. It's always- I've always wanted to do it. I just never really had the guts to do it. I've never really been like- Oh my god, I'm really gonna do it. I'm really gonna do it. And there's always been stuff holding me back, but I feel like 
one day I was kind of just like, you know what? Just do it. Just do it. No one's stopping you. It's either now or never, and it's better now than never. Fears. Failing beyond repair and losing my mother. Oh my goodness. The day I lose my mom will be... I don't know. Last thing that made you cry. The last... I don't know. The last really, really hard cry that I remember having was when my dog, Bella, died. And that was very emotional for me. I remember I cried for days on straight. My eyes were beyond puffy. I couldn't even open them. My eyes were bloodshot. It was awful. I couldn't even eat. It was so bad. Last time you said you loved someone. I think my best friend. Yeah. Meaning behind your YouTube name. YouTube username. Um, life, KSL Beauty, just means I'm sharing my life and my beauty tips with you. And KSL stands for my, all of my like initials. The book I'm currently reading is Lola and the Boy Next Door. As you can tell, I'm a total sucker for romance novels. Setting myself up for disappointment now. Last show you watched. I just watched the new episode of Teen Wolf. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I don't know how a show can get any more intense. It's so intense. Last person you talked to, my friend Justin. The relationship between you and the last person you last texted. We're really close friends. It's the same friend I just told you about, Justin. Mm, favorite food. I'm a food lover. I'm a foodie. I love all food. Don't discriminate it. Don't discriminate. Uh, don't discriminate against food. You should never have to decide which is your favorite. That is cruel and that is a cruel and unusual punishment. Place you want to visit. Paris, France. After reading that book and in the French kiss, I'm definitely visiting Paris. It's, uh, and so many more. I want to visit places like Dubai, Fiji, um, Cancun. My hometown. Mm. I also want to visit London for sure, definitely. So many more. Last place you were, I was at school. Oh joy. Do you have a crush? No, I do not have a crush on anyone right now. Not unless you count celebrities or fictional characters. Last time you kissed someone. Probably two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks ago. Last time you were insulted. Two weeks ago, I got called the B word. Favorite flavor of sweet, caramel. What instruments do you play? I played the flute, but I haven't played it in a year, so chances are I probably don't remember how to play. Oh, under, there, under my dresser. Who knows if I can still play? I probably should try. My mom still complains about how much money she spent on it, and yet I didn't play band in high school. Favorite piece of jewelry? Long necklaces. They make anything look good. Last sport you played? Volleyball. <laughs> You're probably laughing because I'm so short. Yeah, I hate playing center. Last song you sang? I don't really sing. Favorite chat up line, I don't chat up guys. Have you ever used it? I just said I don't talk to guys like that. <laughs> I'm about as romantically involved as a snail. Last time you hung out with anyone? Not sure, I usually don't hang out with people. It's usually me, my laptop, Tumblr, and some sad novels. Yeah, that's, that's my Saturday night. Who should answer these questions next? I say anyone should answer these questions. If you're about start thinking about starting a YouTube channel, then I say you should definitely do it and I tag you. I tag anyone and everyone. All right guys, so this has been my TMI tag and I hope you enjoyed it and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what I said or if you liked any of the bands I mentioned and if you listen to any songs I linked down below, then Comment down below which one was your favorite and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!